Welcome back to the Allstate Sugar Bowl Prep Football Roundup. It's the 8 o'clock hour. That means it is time for our Allstate Sugar Bowl interview of the week. Uh, this week we got a good one for you, an oldie but a goodie. we got Major Ogilvie join us on the program tonight. For those of you who might not remember, he played back in the 70s with the Alabama Crimson Tide. He was a two-time All-SEC selection, an academic All-American. He won three SEC championships with the Tide, two national championships for Bama, member of the Alabama Sports Hall of Fame, and the inaugural class inductee of the Sugar Bowl Hall of Fame. With that, we'd like to welcome into the program tonight, Major Ogilvie. Yeah. Major, thanks so much for joining us on the program tonight, man. We're really glad to have you. Well, Brad, good morning, and uh, gosh, uh, glad, glad to be with you and uh, excited about talking about some good old memories I have of uh, being in New Orleans and playing the Sugar Bowls. So you are the only player in history, Major, to actually have played in and won three Sugar Bowls. You beat, uh, with, with, uh, with Alabama, you beat Ohio State in 1978, you beat Penn State in 79, and you beat Arkansas in 80, and no one else has accomplished the feat of playing and winning in three Sugar Bowls. That's got to be something that you've got to be extremely and incredibly proud of. Well, Brad, I am. Uh, gosh, all through the Sugar Bowls I participated in, uh, uh, we were playing for the national championship. And, of course, that was the goal of our team every year and uh, uh, the goal that we all set to do. We got two out of three and uh, came in second to the first year against Ohio State, but uh, at the same time, had some great times there, some great games, got some great coaches and great teams that we played against. And, uh, uh, you know, it was just a lot of fun. Well, look, let's talk about this, too. In all three of those games that you played, all three of the Sugar Bowls, you scored a touchdown in all three games, which is equally impressive. And there's only one other dude that's been able to do that. Uh, I think he was a – and I, I probably average or below average running back, a guy named Herschel Walker. You ever heard of him? Oh, gee, gee. What a great athlete and a great football player. And, uh, uh, gosh, uh, I, I'm glad to be in that company. But, uh, as you well know, football is a team sport. And uh, I always had appreciation for our offensive line and what they did for us and, and our team in general. Uh, gosh, like I said, the, the, the team wins and playing for national championships, that was the fun for me. And look, you mentioned that, Major. It's a team sport, so we'll jump in actually to the 79 Sugar Bowl. That was against Penn State. Y'all win that one 14-7. Um, really memorable because in that game, team sport, the defense comes up and stops Penn State on the goal line in one of the most famous goal line stands in Sugar Bowl history. And that was a team effort getting it done on the defensive side of the ball. Oh, I tell you, Brad, um, I remember Coach Bryant talking about after that game, you know, you, you play in big games, and we had the privilege and the opportunity to do that many times when I was at the university. But uh, that game, there were more big plays, big plays being plays that changed the momentum of the game. And, uh, boy, we, we, thank goodness we were on the good side of most of them. But uh, uh, there was one big play after another down there and I mean it was back and forth Penn State had a great uh, uh, team from a you know, playing on the offense I mean they had the number one defense in the country when we entered that game and uh, you know it was just a tough tough football game uh, hard hitting um, you, you know the second half you, you saw the trainers on the field quite a bit and uh, it, it was just a dog fight to the end but a, you know a classic great game of football well, talk about big plays in that game. As I said, you got a touchdown in that game. Also, the defense came up with a big stand. But as a running back, you might have had the most important play, and it wasn't even on the offensive side of the ball. After an interception, it looks like Penn State was going for a pick six, about to house it. But you make a touchdown-saving tackle, and uh, your one stat of a tackle in that game might have been the difference between a, one and a win and a loss. Yeah, you know, I've had fun with that. I, I uh, People talk about big plays, and, of course, we had a lot of big plays while I was there. But uh, between that play, which was a defensive play, and another defensive play that I made in the game just before then we played Auburn, you know, those were highlights. I was the safety on the kickoff coverage, and James Brooks uh, broke open uh, at Auburn, and, and uh, I, got, I got lucky in tackling. But, 
Yeah, the, and, and that, you know, there, that was not an odd play, but a different play. And, uh, you know, that's one of the things I'm talking about. I mean, they were just one big play after another. It, you know, at that point, with their great uh, field goal kicker, they could have kicked the field goal, but on third down, our defense uh, tackled Fusina for a big-time loss. It was about 10 or 15 yards, and it took them out of field goal range. And that was a pivotal time uh, in that game because right after that, we drove the length of the field and scored a touchdown right there at halftime. And uh, so, you know, but like I said, it, that game was just back and forth. Two great games, uh, uh, two great coaches. Uh, just, just yeah, it, you know, you, you look back at that game and you're just glad you were part of it. Well, Major, you're a part of many Sugar Bowl victories uh, you hold some of, you know, I, I guess the record, as we mentioned, for the only player to win in three Sugar Bowls in great company with Herschel Walker having the only, being one of the only two players to score touchdowns in three Sugar Bowls. But back in the day, I say back in the day, in the 70s, when you did it, uh, you did it against quality opponents. We're talking Ohio State, Penn State, Arkansas, and the coaching on the other side. Just let our fans know what that was like. You had a legendary coach on your sideline and Coach uh, Bear Bryant, but on the other side, it was the same thing. Ohio State had Woody Hayes. Penn State had Joe Paterno. Arkansas had Lou Holtz at the time. You're going up against quality players and quality coaches every single time you lace it up in the Sugar Bowl. Brad, you're exactly right, and 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 we, you guys, you had three great teams, obviously led by three great coaches, and Coach Hayes and Coach Paterno and uh, Coach Holtz, and uh, just uh, you, you look back at that and having played for a great coach, uh, you know those were traditional type games where, you know, the, the kicking game, the defense, and then the offense. Uh, uh, you know, it's just traditional, hard-hitting, well-coached football games. Major, having the opportunity to play for Coach uh, Bryant, let our fans know if you got some special story or a little tidbit of something that he shared, what it was like being a player on that team and being able to be coached by and mentored by one of the best in the game. Thank you. Um, not, not only a great coach, uh, you know, that's well documented, but, you know, Coach Bryant, we had big meetings with Coach Bryant, and, 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 and those were the kind of meetings that you understood he cared more about you as a person than he did a football player. I mean, that, that's the great thing that, you know, players that had the privilege to play for him will tell you that uh, he, he made a difference in our lives. And, and uh, like I said, I think, I think care is the right, word because he he was a strong taskmaster and very demanding and had a very high standard that you know only hard work could get you to that point and, and very demanding work i mean our practices talking to other teams over the years and how they practiced our practice was were dramatically more difficult challenging and physical than most teams did but that was that was our system that's how we won and lost and were prepared and ready for games and you know, as, as Coach Brian, I heard him say many, many times, I mean, a lot of folks uh, want to play to win, and uh, everybody has that, but it's the will to prepare to win that matters. And um, we, we certainly, uh, that's one of the things you learn from him, but so many good stories uh, that he prepared us for life down the road, and uh, I, I've just always kind of wanted to bite myself in terms of how lucky I was to have the opportunity to play for Coach Bryant and play at the University of Alabama. Well, you were successful on the field, successful in life. It's an attribute that a lot of athletes do have. And as you said, you know, a lot of that thanks in part to the leadership that you had at Alabama. If you're just joining us, we're talking to Major Ogilvie, a running back at the University of Alabama, holds the distinction of the only player to actually have won three Sugar Bowls in his career. Uh, Major, we really appreciate you joining us on the program tonight. And I do this every time. If you come on my show, we got to give you a bar exam because I had to pass the bar. And I think it's only fair if you're coming on the program that you got to pass the bar. So we're going to do Brad's bar exam. Don't freak out. It's 30 seconds, true, false. 
Just answer our truth, false questions. We'll be done in 30 seconds, okay? That sounds great. All right, 30 seconds on the clock. I'm going to start off easy. True or false, you played for Alabama under Coach Bear Bryant. True. You played your high school ball at Mountain Brook High School in Alabama. True. Your high school coach, Robert Higginbotham, also played for Coach Bear Bryant. True. You were a member of the 1970 freshman class at Alabama. False. You have four children. False. All of your children graduated from LSU. False. Three of your children graduated from Alabama. True. Your daughter played softball at Alabama. False. Your son, Morgan, played quarterback at Alabama under Coach Saban. True. Your son's 47 wins in his career are greater than your 45 wins in your career. Uh, false, because our wins were 44, not 45. All right. However, your win percentage is better than his at 92% versus his 90 he and I talked about that. That's true. <laughs> All right. Finally, we get you out on this one. The Crimson Tide will win the national championship this year. Uh, true. I always believe we're going to win. All right. There you go. That's Major Ogilvie. Appreciate you joining us tonight on the program. Really great to take a stroll down memory lane with you, talk about those sugar bowls uh, and everything that you were able to accomplish throughout your career at Bama. Brad, Brad it's been my pleasure. Thanks for having me on and uh, recall us some great memories and my very best to you, and a happy Thanksgiving to all your listeners, and uh, roll tide. There you go, roll tide, but I say go Tigers. That's Major Ogilvie from the University of Alabama. He was a great player back in the 70s. Really appreciate him joining us on the program tonight. Don't touch the dial. we got some more reports coming. Coming at you in the 8 o'clock hour, the 9 o'clock hour is always our winning scores and winning coaches interviews. And then 10 o'clock hour, we reset the brackets and tell you what's on tap for the semifinals leading up to the Dome. Right here in the All-State Sugar Bowl, prep football roundup only on WWL. Only on WWL. Only on